Well, this is part B, I think, of four. It doesn't matter. You guys will figure it out. Anyways, I'm saving that right there. Part B of four. Now I'm going to save it in my new file. I'm just going to put it right beside the old one. Now, if I try to save it again, let me show you what happens. And it, you might want to just go, okay, and succession do the next one, okay? Do the next crop, and you can get a little bit closer. Oh, what happened? The crop didn't take. There you go. A little bit closer. And I'm going to save this, but you have to give it a add some letters to it and it will line up right behind the last one just so you know remember everything's about the date and the time to get the order of the sunset okay so we just added now watch right here's where we're at you see the little marker on top below it I mean um, uh, and Pixio leaves a little tag if you don't save that picture it's still done okay but I'm saving them okay so we got the close up right there you go to the next picture. You just kind of check these through. Each one of these is consecutive to the last one. You know the back out. Zoom back out. So that's going to, you don't have to actually float it or you don't have to actually do that. Guys. Now we're going to go from the floatity right to the um, Vegas movie maker. It's pretty good. I'm looking for grainy, grainy, grainy stuff. Or sky anomalies. Let's go through these real quick. About as clear as you can get it. Right there. I'm going to go ahead and crop that up one size. The first one you crop up, and make sure you line it back up to where it was for center, right? So this is centered, close as possible. And I'm going to save that picture, same folder, so the sequence is correct, correct the Mungo. Okay, so we're going to do that one. So we made an extra picture out of it. And this is kind of the tedious stuff, but... Got a little spike right there. You got to be careful because stuff can get grainy right here. 1948, 1942. Now you'll notice too, remember I was telling you, have, sometimes you have to go to other folders to get the parts that are missing and take pictures out. Okay, now I didn't use autocorrect guys on any of this, but watch when I do to show you the difference. Not a lot. Without all, that's without it. Now watch up here the histamine, histogram, and then watch also. Boom. See how I gave you that perfect clarity? Okay. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to run this to another batch. Okay. But I have to fix a couple things. See, you put that autocorrect. Is it that perfect weirdness? I'm gonna leave that autocorrect down right there. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking for if it starts getting raining. This one my crop. It's gonna like all that on the bottom. No, 
uh, again, I'm just going to put it right beside it, the first one. Then after that, in order to be the next one, you have to just put a F, D, A, whatever. Just put a letter beside it. Now if you look at this, down here on the bottom, between the two suns, two yellow suns, you see the extra. So it keeps pretty good files for you. So you know, this blows it up a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, when it starts getting dark, you're going to start seeing the grain. Not much I'm going to do to that. It's too nice. And then here's this cover shot I've been using. <laughs> okay, so you can use this little deal for a lot of things. You can watch how it starts getting dark. Watch the grain come. So not too bad. Okay, and then we're going to fix that grain. We're going to go to the noiser. See, that acts like a new picture now. You can do more noise on it. You can clear it a little bit of. But <clears throat> sometimes you try to mess with it, you get, it will actually make it worse. It's pretty. Okay, it's not. Not much there happening. I'm not sure if I saved that one. my inspiration music. Let's see if I saved that one. Nope. Maybe put it in order too. God, that's beautiful. I mean, there's nothing else you could do to that. But beautiful. So you gotta take time to, you know, to check your work. See, I don't like all that right there. So I'm gonna reduce, I already have it open, I'm gonna reduce the noise way down. See that? Smooth it right out. Then I'm going to save that picture beside the other one. In, it, in the video, it's not going to make much difference when they're time lapsing, but to me, it, uh, it makes a difference on the quality. See, now, you need, now you're seeing it. Increases your picture load too, quite a bit. I tried the color noise. 